<laughs> so what's your schedule look like as a six year senior now in Nebraska? Uh, you know, I still got to be eligible, so I got a couple of classes out there. Besides that, more like a fail. Much of the last couple of years, I can see what I can do better as an individual. Besides that, just going back and being in the second practice. What's it like having Deontay back there with you? How important is it to kind of build off the bond you guys have made in your past? Well, that's great. He's a great player. I'm glad we both came and decided to come back and elevate our game to the next level. Which, you know, before we even go to the next level, we want to maximize our ability on the field on the college level. So when we came back, it was about a lot of attention, you know, the team, and the player, the visual. How much, is, how much does it help your game to have him next to you? Oh, it's tremendous. Like, oh, I could be thinking something, and I can, by the time I'm about to say it to him, he did it already, and that was So, it's been an agony having him back there, and it's been great having our bond being strong and strong. You know, it's just us now, as the older cats, so our bond just been stronger and stronger, and we're doing the work every day. Hey, I'll tell last season, just the way it ended, you won at Rutgers, and it sounded like some guys wanted to complain, some didn't. Just the way it ended so abruptly, how much did that motivate some guys? Like, you know what, well, we didn't finish our job here, we got more work to do here than before. I mean, you got to throw up in perspective. You know, Corona and how long, with no breaks, how long we've been working, and all that. But at the end of the day, it's still football. At the end of the day, it should be hard to get better each and every day. Every opportunity you should be taking to get better for that opportunity. Maximizing your potential for that. Sorry for your assets. How are, how are some of the younger guys pushing that competition, keeping younger toes? Oh, it was good. You know, we still trying to, uh, we still trying to put the culture into them. You know, and when I say culture, I mean having the bar so high, we don't set nothing less than that. So it's just about getting the guys up there first. And once they get up there, you know, we compete every day, but. You can compete, but still not know what you do. Um, what are your expectations for this defense? My expectations, top 10 of everything. When I say everything, tackle, all around defense, turnovers, touchdowns, everything. You're, you're a guy who stuck with it with this program in the first few years when you weren't playing as much, and nowadays everybody pops in the portal. Do you, do you ever have advice for young guys or like, you know, about, about that or sticking with it? I mean, everybody has their own choices, but for me, I just stuck to it because I like to stay humble, you know what I mean? Everything plays out, everything happens for a reason. And as a young guy, you don't know what you need to do alone in the program. So for you, it's just hard to believe. I mean, you just want to stay and stick it out to see what's the future you're going to hold. You know, if you ball out every day and so give you the all and everything you do, you're just going to be better and better. And then they'll realize what you're going to feel. Some of those young guys are impressing you, and how are you, you know, helping them get further along and developing coaching them up at the position? Well, all the young guys, I love all of them. They all ask for help, they all, whatever question they need, they give me all, they all, when I ask for it, when they not giving me they all, I get on their head, I get on them. And uh, besides that, whatever, whatever they need, I'm there for them. So I like the young guys, and I like where, they are, where, where their head is at right now. We're just going to go off with that. Do you plan to play special teams this year? How has the approach changed uh, this year special teams? I plan to play special teams this year. I play special teams every year. So, you know, that's a critical, that's a critical playing the whole game. So, yeah, I plan to play special teams. Do you think the mindset's changed this year? Yeah, it should change. We should be trying to be better on special teams each and every day. You know, once you look at your special team, that's a that's an overall look at your team, too. So if you go hard on special teams, that would be like, you know, they go hard on offense and defense, too, for sure. Markel, how has that relationship between you and uh, Deontay uh, evolved and grown through the last couple of years? I was growing a lot with Cleveland. Just off the simple fact that he was most of the most started. He came in, you know, he needed help. I don't think we got him on the same level now. You know, we, we just going out trying to better each other each and every day, not settle for that. If I'm going slow, he's going slow, he can do it for me. If you don't know, or if I don't know a question, he's going to ask you, he's going to ask you likewise. I have a back there, you know, we both got kids, so when our kids come out here, or my kids come out here, I mean, we all together, we, we eat together, we do everything together, so yes, it's really good. Is there anything in particular you appreciate about this game, the way you play the offense? I appreciate every aspect of this game, for sure. It's not, not the one weakness I can call it out. And I, I appreciate it a lot.
you're, you're an older veteran, is your relationship different now with Coach Fisher? I mean, you, just, you almost yes. feel like you're a coach now with your time in the system. I mean, not necessarily, not necessarily a coach, but yeah, I mean, I know, I know a lot of the system. I mean, you know, there's still new schemes and stuff that come in every you know, season or whatever. But as far as being Coach Fisher's relationship, I mean, it's been out of and I like Coach Fisher a lot. He's been great. And I'm waiting for what the future holds between me and him and the rest of us. How did the uh, how did the five of you guys on defense, who are six year seniors, get together and make your decisions? You know, individually, but also as a group. What was what was that? Uh, what those conversations like, and how did that play out? I mean, of course, we had a conversation, but it wasn't during the season. It was mostly after the season. You know what I mean? So we went back home, and talked to our families before we even did that. Like before we left from home, we had a conversation. So we all talked about it. You know, we all had to deal with our draft stock. And what we were as a team, and, and individually, we had to play with each other, and just be physically, especially, you know what I mean? So it all was a deep conversation, and we all knew too, so we could not talk about what to say about him, but besides that, we all decided to come back and play with each other. Was it a hard decision for you to come back, or what was it like? I mean, yes, it was hard to do this, but some fact, I got a kid, and I, I got a kid to feed, you know what I mean? How old is your daughter? She's one of them. About to be two months. Two months. Two months. Two months. Two months. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Mark.